this channel today's tutorial I'll show us on how we can make a dictionary app using JSON so this is an offline app so if I search a word by typing a word let me just use the word word you can see the word and its meaning any word any word So let's see how this is done in Sketchway. This is my Sketchway project. First thing I did was to add my dictionary file to my assets. So it's, it's my dictionary file. Then I added a list view. Why well, added this list this view is to make sure if I would have used a test view, I can't scroll, I can't scroll down. So that will added list view instead. So then I added a search view for typing in the word and an image view inside my linear layout. Then my progress bar when the app starts initially. So let's see how this is in our own creates. So in our own create method, I created two strings, two list strings called lists, list and str. You can see here. Then I created a map and a string variable called S. So when the app starts, the progress bar will be visible. Then since the tax is, is quite, the library, sorry, the JSON file is quite large. So I put it in a background tax. So it doesn't freeze the app. Everything works normally. Then I pass it to a map. Then I add on my map to my list string list. Then after that has been done, I set my progress bar to be invisible. So when the search button is clicked, so this is it when the app is open initially. This is how it looks when the app is opening. So it, it tries to load all the content from the dictionary app from the dictionary JSON file. So now when we click the search button. I clear my list string and I search if the word the user put in the edit text is equals to the word in the library then I show it and its meaning so that is all so this this sign this is a is a parameter or rather we can say it's a primitive type for next line so for almost every under every language every programming language can use this to break line so that is why we can see in here the word I search the word I search will be on top then that slash and end make sure the next word will be in the next line so thank you for watching this video please subscribe like comment and share